TestRed Recorder is a great tool for quickly creating Rebodium tests to run on your Android devices. Not only can TestRed Recorder help you create the tests, it can also send them to the cloud at cloud.testred.com to test on many devices at once, saving valuable time and money. This tutorial goes over some of the more advanced features of TestRed Recorder. For this tutorial to work, you need to have TestRed Recorder installed. You can learn how that's done by clicking here. Alrighty, let's get recording. Let's create a new recording by clicking File, New, and Other. In the dialog, click Android Test Droid and First Recording. In this tutorial, we're going to use the provided application so you can easily follow along. Click Next, and let's get the recording started by clicking the Record button. You can run this recording on your own devices, but I want to show exactly where I'm clicking, so I'm running this recording in the emulator. A quick note while this is loading. TestRed Recorder is creating actual Rebodium code for you. This means that you can quickly create Rebodium tests and then add on to them more advanced features, for example, looping through a test many times. Okay, we're rolling and the recorder is already waiting for us. As you will notice, with each click, recorder is watching what I'm doing and making sure every action I take in that activity is recorded. Now there's this screenshot button over here. Click this and it will run a simple method that screenshots your app and saves the file to the SD card located on the devices. All devices in the cloud have an SD card ready for you and all the images are saved there. It's pretty easy. Otherwise, make sure your emulator or device you're running on has an SD card installed. I'll add a few more steps here just to make it a more advanced test. Next is this Smart Assert button. Clicking this will review the entire screen and create an assert making sure that the screen has all the same settings, values, and attributes identical every time. This is handy when you know what the result should be and need to make sure that it's the same every time. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Let's stop the test and take a look at the results. So here, all the steps we took are, are in this recording here. But you know, there are some things that I think we should change up a bit. For example, I have long wait times, and we don't need to have those long wait times between button presses. Let's shorten them up a bit. We just double click on the item in the list, and a dialog opens where I can change those values. There's also this Adjust Sleeps button. This will let you set up the maximum wait time for all the sleeps in the recording. It's really nice because when building a test, there could be a lot of sleeps with extended times. This can just waste time in getting your test results back. We can also remove items entirely from the test that we don't want. or drag and drop an item to a different position in the test.
When we feel we've had enough fun here, we can click the finish button. Bam shabam. Is that Robodium code I see? Oh yes. Now we can go right in and start changing the code, just like any good tester might do. Or we can send it to our devices at this point to see what the results would be. But my personal favorite is throwing the test to the cloud to see how my app weathers in a cloud of devices. To send this test to the cloud, we can right click on the test, go to Run As, and select Run in Testroid Cloud. We get an email when our test results are ready for review.